it's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader today. This video newsletter is brought to you by FirstHourTrading.com. Welcome to this edition of the TradingTips.com video newsletter. In this episode, we're going to be looking at RSI 2, which is a mean reversion trading strategy for short-term traders. Without further ado, let's begin. First, let's have a brief recap of RSI or Relative Strength Index. We covered RSI in one of the first episodes of TradingTips.com, the TradingTips.com video newsletter. It was actually episode number 10. You can find this by searching on TradingTips.com. If you put in the search term RSI indicator and then scroll down to the bottom, you'll find the, the appropriate episode. You can do your own recap of RSI. Basically, though, if you don't want to take the time to do that, RSI is a momentum oscillator that uses moving averages on up days and down days, which are days when the stock's up or down, to determine whether a stock is overbought or oversold. RSI 2 uses a two-period RSI in conjunction with other indicators to help you develop a trading strategy. RSI 2 was developed by Larry Connors, who co-authored the book Short-Term Strategies That Work. Connors is the CEO and founder of TradingMarkets.com, as well as the CEO of the Connors Group and the managing partner of Connors Capital, which is a private investment and financial markets research firm. Even before RSI 2, Connors was a respected and known name in the investment community, but with RSI 2 and that strategy, his a personal stock has soared. There are five steps in the RSI 2 strategy. They are 1. Identify the major long-term trend. 2. Apply a two-period RSI. 3. Determine when to enter the position. 4. Determine when to close the position for a profit. And 5. Determine your stop loss. We'll look at each of these steps of the strategy individually on the following slides. The best way to determine a long-term major trend of a stock is to use its 200-day simple moving average. When a stock is trading above its 200-day SMA, it is considered to be in an uptrend, and when it's below its 200-day SMA, it's considered to be in a downtrend. This is a chart of Microsoft, and as you can see, the stock was in an uptrend until recently. Its 200-day simple moving average line is in blue. Now we've added RSI 2 below the chart. The key levels to look for normally are 70 and 30. That's with a regular RSI. However, according to Larry Connors' research, the important numbers to look at for RSI 2 are above 90 and below 10. In fact, Connors has found that the higher above 90, the better, and vice versa, the lower below 10, the better, for using RSI 2 in a long or short strategy. Now the question is when to buy, or when to short. First, know that we're looking for buys only when the stock is above its 200-day moving average and below its 5-day moving average. Conversely, we're looking to short only when the stock is below its 200-day moving average and above its 5-day moving average. In the former case, we're looking for a stock that's in an uptrend that's momentarily oversold. And in the latter case, we're looking for a stock that's in a long-term downtrend but temporarily overbought. Okay, but exactly when do we place the buy or short sell order? Connors gives you two options. For more risk-averse traders, he says to enter at the next day's open. For a more aggressive strategy, buy as close to the current day's close as possible. If you buy at the close, you might get a big pop the next morning. Or the stock could change directions and you'd lose money. That's why it's riskier, but potentially more rewarding. No matter what, using RSI 2 is an aggressive short-term strategy. So buying at the open takes at least a little bit of the risk out of it. Now we'll look at when to take profits. Let's look at a real chart. Here's Microsoft's chart from earlier, but this time below the chart there's the RSI 2. I've used a green marker to emphasize the times when Microsoft's RSI 2 fell below 10 in an uptrend or went above 90 in a downtrend, and I've marked each instance on the chart with points A through F. Point A occurred when Microsoft was trading above its 5-day moving average line, marked in blue. Remember, this is a no-go. During an uptrend, we're looking to buy when RSI 2 is below 10 and the stock is below its 5-day moving average line, such as at point B. Now we get to the profit-taking stage. RSI 2 is a short-term strategy for quick gains. Take profits when the stock exceeds its 5-day moving average. In this example, you would have made profits of 1.3% from point B. Not a lot, but not bad for simply holding a stock overnight. Similar gains would have been made for point C and D. And there were even gains to be made for point E. Shortly following point E, Microsoft went into a downtrend. And at point F, we get what looks like might be a short sell signal. Except the stock is not trading below its 5-day simple moving average. So point F, like point A, would, should be ignored. 
Now for the craziest part of the whole system. Connors recommends using no stop losses. That's right. When do you sell or cover for a loss? It's up to you. Connor says that he could never determine a rule and that any rules he attempted resulted in worse performance. Should you hold forever? It would be up to you and your individual risk tolerance. But you're not going to get help from Larry Connors. He claims that if you hold until the conditions are right, you're going to win so much more often that it won't matter if you lose a bundle on a trade here or there. Talk about an unusual system. In conclusion, RSI2 is an aggressive short-term strategy. It's based on the theory of finding stocks in a long-term trend that have temporarily gone against that trend. It's not for the faint of heart, particularly with its no-stop-loss rule. But used in conjunction with other trading strategies and technical indicators, RSI2 is unquestionably a worthy tool in your trading arsenal. We hope you've enjoyed this TradingTips.com video newsletter. Thanks for watching and good trading. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Manny Backus's First Hour Trading System. Every day there's money to be made in the first hour of stock trading. This is the world of day trading, not for novices, unless you have a system. The First Hour Trading System. Visit FirstHourTrading.com now and sign up for a free 30-day trial. You could make enough in the first hour of your day to take the rest of the day off. View more Trading Tips videos. Visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters and become a successful trader today.